Hey guys, today I want to show you 5 awesome but lesser known add-ons for World of Warcraft Dragonflight. I'm always looking out for what the add-on community is coming up with during new expansion releases and for Dragonflight there have been some very cool new projects. I want to quickly shout out our sponsor for this video, Curseforge. With the Curseforge app you can discover, manage and update all your World of Warcraft add-ons and while doing so also help out the add-on creators who earn a share of the Curseforge ad revenue. Thank you Curseforge for sponsoring this video and of course all of the add-ons in this video can be found on the Curseforge app which you can download via the link in the description below. Talent Loadout X is one of the most important add-ons for me in Dragonflight. With the addition of the new talent system in Dragonflight also came a new UI that supports talent loadouts. There's an arbitrary restriction in place that limits you to 10 talent loadouts total per character. For players that play multiple roles, for example DPS in raids or tank in M+, maybe you also PvP a lot, 10 loadouts is really really limiting. Additionally, the Blizzard UI is not the most user-friendly and also still has some bugs or quirks that can be quite frustrating. Talent Loadout X simply gives you as many talent loadouts as you want. The add-on attaches to the right side of the talent frame and you get a nice list to create and select new loadouts for every spec here. Every loadout you create is also account-wide, so if you play multiple of the same class, the loadouts will appear on your other character automatically. Now these are technically not Blizzard loadouts, they simply override your talents. I generally advise to not use different action bar configurations for different loadouts, so if you use that, then maybe this add-on is not for you. Macros with the known macro conditional are in my opinion the better way of handling loadout specific keybinds. I'm generally very happy with this add-on, although I would like some user experience improvements like a right click context menu, being able to resort the loadouts via drag and drop, and maybe a better visual indicator for which loadout is currently selected. Another add-on that improves the talent UI is talent tree tweaks. There are too many features that this add-on has, but I'm gonna list just a few of my favorites. You get three new buttons in the bottom of the talent window that allow you to respec to another spec instantly without having to navigate to the specialization tab. You can hold control and use a scroll wheel on your mouse to resize the talent frame. Often you might want to know what's going on behind the talent frame, so now you have a nice slider that can adjust the opacity of the talent window background. Also one big issue with the talent tree is that sharing a loadout is not always possible due to UI taint. You click the button, but sometimes it just won't work. This add-on circumvents that problem by putting the export string into a text box from which you can then copy the string instead of having to reload to export your loadout. There's much more that this add-on does, feel free to check out the description on the project page on the CurseForge website. BTW quest is actually an add-on that my friend Roger Brown recommended to me. I was looking to farm a few reputations for some profession knowledge and was looking for quests I haven't done yet. This add-on shows you available quests for the character that you're on directly on the world map. Very useful for the reputation grinds or if you're just a completionist. Profession shopping list helps you for all your crafting needs, even if you're not a crafter yourself. As you guys know, crafting is an integral part of the gearing process and with this add-on you can make it very easy to keep an overview of the materials needed for work orders. The add-on is not the most user-friendly and it takes some time getting used to, but it can definitely help you out. If you've ever used one of the cloaks that teleport you to Ogrima or Stormwind, you probably have been in this situation. You're fighting a raid boss or you're doing M+, and suddenly you wonder why your character feels super weak. Turns out you forgot to equip your actual cloak again. Teleport cloak will automatically re-equip your last used cloak after you have used the teleport. A while ago, I made a very cool macro that in combination with this add-on basically gives you an Orgrimmar or Stormwind fire and forget teleport button. Simply spam the button and the macro will equip and use the next best available cloak from your inventory. Afterwards, teleport cloak will take care of the re-equipping your normal cloak and that's it. The macro is also available in the description. I hope you found this video useful, let me know in the comments below and make sure to like the video and subscribe. See you guys next time and bye bye.